Now here is how you can use Notion for beginners on your iPhone. I've been using Notion for quite a, some time already. It's been years since I first downloaded this. So before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and you never miss videos like these. Essentially, at first, obviously you need to make sure you have the app installed. So you have to go through it, perhaps update it if you are on an older version. But once you get inside, the app is split into four different categories at the bottom. So you have the home, you have the search, you have the inbox, and you have the start new page button. To be honest, inbox is pretty much never used by me. Sometimes I just go through the search and start a new page. I don't quite like that either because, you know, I then have to choose the category and stuff. So I mostly just hang out in this like home area. And essentially in here at the top, you have like a list of all of the pages, which you have been using recently. You don't do anything with it as, as it just updates automatically. But here you have the places where the fun begins. Essentially, what Notion is good at is in a nesting of the files. So you have pages which can be part of pages and that can be part of a different page, right? So the first thing is to understand that, that every single page can contain multiple different pages and it just can on go on like that forever. So essentially, when you started the main page, you can see that we have like a to-do list, whatever. And in here, I'm gonna just click on the plus button and add another page, which is gonna be, I don't know, like a random subsection. I'm gonna hit done and come back. And you can see that right now this to-do list has one other thing nested. When I come in here and I click on a plus and add a new page, you know, I can add like a sub subsection and it is gonna be nested even below that, obviously. So when you go in here, you can open this up and you can see that it can go like this forever. Now, what you put into those pages is obviously up to you, but there are plenty of different elements and things to add. And as you, as you could already notice, there is the plus button, which I used a lot, but also plenty of other things in here as well. So let me just go through it. The first thing above your keyboard is the Notion AI, which is pretty good. You can use it like ChatGPT to generate some ideas, but what's also cool is that you can use it to summarize stuff, right? So when I, for example, open up a random page in here, I'm gonna click in here and choose the Notion AI. I can just choose to summarize this page in bullet points, right? Or you, you might as well just ask something very specific about this page and it's just gonna give you an answer. You should keep in mind that this feature is good, but in terms of the availability, you only have like a limited portion or limited number of searches per month on the free version. And if you wanna use it a lot more, then you'll likely need to upgrade to a pro version of Notion, which, you know, obviously you have to pay like $12 a month for it. So up to you, but for free, you can get a very good experience even using the Notion app for entirely free. Once the AI stuff gets generated, you can choose if you accept it and you're gonna keep it in your notes or you're gonna discard it, up to you. But as I already mentioned, there are also other things in here above the keyboard. So when you click on a plus, you can essentially start crafting up your page and there are plenty of options. Like you can choose a plain text, you can choose a to-do list, a heading, you know, in different size, you can bring in a table, you can bring or start a bulleted list or numbered list, toggle list is really great as you can just give this a title like this and you can also just open it up as you can see. So I'm gonna type that in and you can see that it just like opens up. So it's pretty cool, right? And there are so many of these like blocks available to you. Sometimes as you can see it kind of glitches out, but yeah, besides that you have a divider, you can add a quote, call out, you can bring in images, videos, files. You can even get like templates and it's many different things. So I'm not gonna cover every single thing in this video as it would take really long, but I'm just giving you, you know, like an overview of how you can use it. Obviously, when it comes to the text, you can also make it bold, italics, you know, you can add the colors 
of the text. You can add the background colors behind the text. So plenty of different options. And that's how you can just craft up the pages. So as I say, the important thing to know about Notion for beginners is the two concepts. And the first one is the concept of nesting pages and creating like endless pages within one of them, right? And also the second thing is the endless amount of customization and options like blogs and different type of stuff, which you can add into your actual Notion pages. So plenty of cool stuff. So these are the two concepts. Now, uh, the, the last thing I'm going to end this video with is the templates. So you can leave the app and if you open up the Safari pages and uh, look up Notion templates and you can essentially get to the Notion like marketplace as they call it where you can see that they have like 20k plus templates. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but essentially you can look up pages for personal finance and some people already just create like a budgeting template which you can get for your notion right so you know here's like a page where you can track your income and expenses and you can get this template being added to your notion pages so you don't have to worry about creating one yourself you can just start using someone else's design which you find useful right so this is how you can easily just add this to your Notion page. So I'm sorry for making this video a little too longer, but you know, I've been using the app for quite some time and I really like it. So I just wanted to do it as briefly as possible as, you know, as I could. So hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe below and I'm going to see you in the next video.